and I'd like to invite Chris Donnelly to join me on stage now, please. Thanks, Peter. Uh, I, my name is Chris Donnelly. I'm a partner at PwC here in Toronto, and I lead our national technology practice. Um, very excited to be here today. Although we're a big four accounting firm, we are very dedicated to the emerging tech space in Canada. We have a practice called Emerging Company Services, and we search for companies with extraordinary potential all the time. Um, so great to see the entrance. Uh, great presentations here today, guys. Uh, very exciting stuff. Um, as an accounting firm, as a professional consulting firm, what we do a lot of the time is push out thought leadership. Um, and interestingly enough, across the city today, we've got our Vision to Reality conference on the go, uh, where we've got about 500 attendees. A couple hundred of those are CEOs of emerging tech companies. And every year, we survey these companies, find out what the big trends are, find out what those CEOs are concerned about. And I wanted to share with you three topics that's come out of their research, um, because I think it's interesting for your companies as you develop and evolve. So the overall message is Canada's tech CEOs have a general sense of optimism. The recession is in the rearview mirror and confidence is growing. So there's a positive message in that. But the big challenges today are twofold. Number one, and for the first time we've ever seen that we're, in the nine years we've done this survey, attracting talent is the biggest issue facing Canada's tech CEOs. It's not that there's a great churn of employees, but attracting the right software engineers, the right tech people is becoming more and more of a challenge, and that's risen to the top level of the CEO's uh, um, issue page. Um, part of that, we think, is because it's very easy for young entrepreneurs to come out of university today and start their own business. There aren't the same hurdles with the innovation we have today. Um, so tougher and tougher for CEOs to deal with that. Two, uh, the next big trend our CEOs talked about is around customers and customer relationships. Uh, they reminded us over and over again that customers are key. And what they're realizing is often cheaper and more effective uh, to be defensive on your customer base than always following big, expensive strategies to attract new customers. Although you have to do that, you can't forget who your customers are. And using the appropriate social media and digital technology, they're finding new ways to engage the customer. So those two messages came out from the CEOs we surveyed. And thirdly, funding. Uh, as it always is, a big challenge. Um, we're seeing some positive trends in VC funding in Canada today. We're not back to where we were in 2007. For the last kind of couple of years, we've seen an upward trend, which is positive. Um, I would say there's less money in the pot for a wider range of companies, so it's still difficult to attract, but I think there's a level of optimism there as well. So that's what came out from our couple of hundred tech CEOs that we surveyed, uh, and that thought leadership's being released today. Uh, thank you to Backbone. It's been great to be a part of this today, and congratulations uh, to all the top ten and the rest of the entrants. Thank you.